Allah will ask us on the day of judgment, how have you spent your youth? See where parents come in very important. A lot of our parents mislead our youths. I'm sorry to say that. And parents forgive me for that. But it is the Prophet ﷺ who said that every child is born a Muslim. Every child is born in total submission to God. It is the appearance to take them off that path and make them this or that. That's a hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. So be careful, my parents, what you guide your children and train them and tell them to become. You may have to answer for it on the day of judgment. We will have to answer for it. Then don't say I didn't remind you and remind myself. Don't go and say Shafiat never tell me down in Florida, you know. Because I have a Likma TV recording it, I'll play it. Inshallah. We'll do a replay. How did you spend your youth? You, the parent, will be asked about it. We, the parents, and our children will be asked about it. I hear what's going to happen. Our children will say, Allah, you know, I wanted to read Quran and study and become a real Islamic personality and do dawah. My father told me, no, make money, boy. Only study the dunya. That's what I am investing in you. That is priority. Number one. Then you could think about God and his Quran and his Islam. Your son and your daughter will tell Allah, deal with him. More punishment again. Oh yes, that's serious business. So be careful parents, you give your children the right advice. It's a new year. 2016, 1437. Make sure, give them the property and the house and the land and the money. Nobody says no. But give them the advice of what they need. You're preparing them for this world. Tell them also what they need to do for the next world and set up that mechanism for them. Otherwise, your own children will become your enemy on the day of Qiyamah. You know, wives will become enemies of husbands and husbands will become enemies of wives and children will become enemies of parents and because of the dunya. Because they were busy fighting only for the things down here. Oh yeah, it wasn't for Allah. You know, a lot of us ask that we want to be under the shade of Allah in the next life. Don't you hear people saying, Allah, let us be under your shade on the day of judgment. Who are some of the people that will be under the shade of Allah? Before the questions even start, a young person who spends his life in the path of Allah. You see how a youth, a youth is very important. We will be asked about what did we do with our youth. And we will also, those of us who spend our youth in the path of Allah, doing good. Nothing is wrong. You enjoy the dunya. I tell you, I love, I have two phones, you know. I love to drive a nice car. I love to fly. I love for bus pen from the age of 16. I have been in dawah for 40 years now. My parents, alhamdulillah, are still alive. Ask them that. Don't just take it like that. My parents in this audience today, at the age of 16, Allah guided me in the path of Allah. I've started doing dawah from the age of 16 years. So I ain't telling you what I'm reading from the book. And I get some goosebumps for that. It ain't just talk, my brothers and sisters. It's what I have lived by the Rahman mercy of Allah. So I'm trying to advise you. Because some of you parents advise your children, no, you're going to die. You can be successful. You wouldn't be anybody. <coughs> I had people when I were going to study Islam said you will be a Let beggar. This radical we'll imams brainwash some of us. Come here, we sit, we sleep in khutbas. We don't get the message. That's why we miss it. Says, all I need you to be grateful, Allah. Are you telling me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not protect the, the prestige of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Allah was only living for business. That's all our dream. Let me see who shall save you now.